Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to fix the error the value violated the integrity constraints for the column. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of the today's video tutorial is how to fix the error the value violated the integrity constraints for the column. So let's jump to the demo. I got a very basic SSIS package in which I have just one data flow task and I am just reading the data from the email table from the work database and inserting the data into the email underscore dash table. So it's kind of simply copying data from one table to another table. Let me just try to execute the SSIS package. So it seems like the package got filled on the while inserting the data to the destination table. So if I go to the output window, so it seems like the we got the error that the value violated the integrity constant for the column and if you check the error further so it has also given you the column name as well so we know that this error is occurred on a particular column if I remember correctly in the previous versions of SSIS it won't show you the column name like on which column the package is failing and you have to figure out by yourself like uh, in which column the issue is occurring so for example if I check the tables so this is my source table email and this is my destination table email underscore dust so at the moment in my source table we have 1000 records and in my destination table there is no data so because the package is failing on the email underscore destination table so we can expand this table and then we can expand the columns so if you check the columns here so these are all the columns available so for example if you see for id it can be of null and first name can be of null last name can be of null but in gender column null value is not permissible but the error message says that we are trying to insert a null value into the table so it means that the null value is being inserted to the gender column and SSIS has already given us the column name so it means that we are trying to insert the null value into the gender column so now we have two options like to fix this particular issue either we can change the data type and allow the null values as well like we are allowing for other columns email first name last name so this is one of the method that we can just write an alter query here alter table table name alter column gender where care 50 null okay so for example if you do this then the gender will allow the null values as well so if you refresh the columns so now you can see that the gender is allowing the null values so this is one of the method that if you do this then the package will run fine and it won't fail so let me just try to run using this way and then i will show you the second method as well so now you can see that the package ran fine and it inserted 1000 records so this is one of the method now let me just go back and uh, truncate this table email underscore desk table and then let me change the column type again so let me not permissible the null values into the gender column again so if i rerun this query not null so now if i refresh the column so now null values are not permissible for the gender column so if i will try to rerun my ssis package again then it will fail again because now the null values are not permissible so this was one of the method like changing the integrity constants now what we need to do uh, to fix it without changing the column data type that we can just write a select query here just get all the column list from here and now what we can do we can actually replace the null value with maybe some space or something so for example we can write an is null function here is null gender comma blank so what we are doing that if there will be a null value in the column then it will replace the null value with a space so this way the package won't fail so i can just simply copy this particular query from here and uh, i can paste it inside the oledb source all right and now let me try to rerun the ssis package again so you can see that this time the package ran fine because it converted the null value into a space you have other options as well for example if the destination data type is integer that you are trying to insert into integer column and it doesn't allow the null value then maybe you can replace the null value with a zero so a zero can be inserted into a integer column but a blank value won't be inserted into a integer column similarly if you are trying to insert the data into a date column 
then you cannot insert a zero or a blank string there you need to provide some value you know some default value sometimes i provide for example this one 19000010 so this is the default date that i can provide or you can provide any default date so that you know that this column was null initially and now because the column does not allow the null value so that's why we are trying to insert some default values so i think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much